Shall we begin? Shall we begin? First and foremost, before I start this video, let me say, <laughs> welcome home, young thug. Now, a lot of people is sitting up there saying, oh, he got a Meek Mill deal. Or, oh, I'd rather have did five years in jail than to do all that time. Because basically, so he copped out, he got 40 years. He has 15 years of probation, right? He violate that 15 years he after he has to do that 40 year bid okay now a lot of people were saying that he shouldn't have took that deal what I'm saying is he shouldn't have never got out of jail for the crimes that he's being charged with for him to be able to get out of jail and go home to his family is a mercy. The charges that he was charged with, some of you people don't understand. Playing with the court system just because he got a mistrial this time. The next time it might not have been a mistrial. The next time he might have blue trial. It wouldn't be home. That's number one. Number two, Young Thug is 33 years old, right? 33 years old, a grown, a full grown man. So you telling me that this millionaire, right? This multiple millionaire can't be disciplined to not get in trouble for 15 years? What kind of world are we living in? Or what kind of mentality are we living in? Do you realize that there's people the reason why they have gun licenses in different states all across America is because they didn't get in trouble their whole entire life. So then you have to ask yourself a question. What type of person are you? How was you raised and how are you living as a grown man when you can't see yourself not going to jail or not getting arrested in a 15 year span? Something's wrong with you completely wrong with you and you need to reevaluate your life especially if you are in your 30s because your f up your f up years is between 15 and 26 did you hear that your mess up years is between 15 and 26 when you get 30 years matter of fact when you get 26 to 27 years old you already solidified in the streets as who you are and people recognize you as who you are. So as far as you running around and gotten to, having to prove you get busy, young thug ain't you. He's a multi-millionaire. So when the judge tell him he can't go back to Atlanta, he has enough money to pick up and move to a whole nother state. He has enough money to never, ever, 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 ever be in the hood again. Young thug is the type of dude that you're barely going to see him because he's going to always, he, he's not like your local rapper. You know, them local dudes that you always see running around Harlem in Brooklyn. They always in the hood because they're never doing no shows. They're not getting the show money. So now they're running over to the podcast area. But back to the topic. If you're 33 years old like Young Thug and you can't see yourself not getting arrested for 15 years straight. Something ain't right about you. And as a matter of fact, the people that is trying to do right, they need to get away from you. Because you might be the person that lead them back to the penitentiary because you can't seem to keep yourself out. That's my take on the situation. Young Thug has people, victims, the family of victims had to watch that man walk out of that courtroom. And I'm happy to see him come out. I don't want to be hypocritical. But the reality of it is we all got people in jail. Despite the victims, despite the family of the victims, we still want to see our brothers and sisters come home. I only have one request for Young Thug. If he's going to come back home and put that dress on, go back to the penitentiary. If he's going to come back home and put the Medea's dress on, the Martin's dress on, the Boulay's dress on, and mislead our young boys out here, go back to jail. Stay there.
Wear that dress in there for them dudes in the penitentiary. Don't come out here and wear that for our children. That's the only request that I have for Young Thug outside of him staying out of trouble. There's no reason for you to get in trouble when you a grown man. Somebody act up, Young Thug got security. He don't need goons around him no more. The goons is going to lead him back to the penitentiary. The man is rich. The man that elevated his money that elevated him in the community that elevated him to live on a level as a king. So when you done elevated yourself to a level of a king, a ruler, an emperor, why would you run around and do peasant moves? The gods don't the, the gods don't mingle with the mortals. What part you don't understand? The gods don't mingle with the mortals. When you elevate yourself, you elevate yourself to people that's on your level that don't act like savages. It is what it is. That's my take on the situation. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. And pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Because they smile in your face. All the while they want to take your place. Them backstabbers. Yeah, them backstabbers. If the walls had ears and you could hear how your friends talk about you behind your back. What about your friends? Are they going to stand a ground? Are they going to be around? I'm out. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right. You messed up my last intro. I need that. Happy New Year. Yo, niggas know when they come to this rap and I'm lit. I'm the best, yeah, I said it. They know when they come to that crack on the strip. I got excellent credit. They know when they come to that gank and spit. I can set it and dead it. I'm the boss, don't you ever forget it. Fuck with me, you forever regret it. If I ain't got it, then I'm trying to get it. As soon as I get it, I'm trying to go trouble it. Hit the line, pull over some other shit. I'm that nigga you don't want to trouble with. Cause I'll pull up with your mother lit. Yeah, I know who your cousin is, and I'm sucking niggas, he gon' run and get None of them niggas want none of this. I've been on my shit since eighth grade. Packing bags in the supermarket, bought an ounce, bagged it up, started moving work all through the projects. Gone by, y'all do the knowledge. Crying storm, I'm moving silence. Everybody a gangster, till they introduce the violence. My moves are calculated with science. Slept on, but I kept on firing. Look at the shape of my eyelids. You have a wake of the giant. Fuck all the talk we like it, we take it, my niggas are tyrants so Sex is the best, that pussy's so wet, it's like I was in front of a hydrant Time is money, and I'm in the club, making time fly 100k when I ride by, stun on haters like ah ha Mellow off that la la, put it in the air like Wi-Fi Mom times, we wild skies, the cheat code, we a pie pie, let's work All the niggas hustling on the block, hustling on the block Cash going in and out the spot, and out the spot Bought a half last time I cop, set up shop And now I need the whole thing Yeah, I need the whole thing Tell it connect I need the whole thing I got an army plus I'm with the whole gang So what you got? Cause I'm gonna need the whole thing I need that Let a nigga know what it's hitting for Cause I need that I just got me something trying to get some more Cause I need that When I come in town, I shut it down like shit changed. I run it now. I came here with a few hundred, but I'm leaving with a hundred down. It's my money. I want it now. I chase it. I hunt it down. Let me know who want it now. I got a hundred pounds or a hundred rounds. I fuck with shorty because she keep it tight. Took the dick like a thief in the night. Type of bitch, how you leaving your wife. Type of shit that I need in my life. Pussy, how you like Jesus Christ? Girl, you know you ain't even right. Like the door, nobody leaving the night. Neighbors about to think we in a fight. Fuck your dude, he ain't even nice. Fuck his shoes, that ain't even nice. Fuck his Home, no laying the pipe that's ahead, it's cracked like we shaking the dice. Left we got made for the G's in the night. And blew it on the police at the light. Rookie nigga thinking he getting stripes. All you heard was tight, screeching me like See ya, when I see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. I'm out that dough like Maria from the pizzeria. No, I'm not giving it anymore. Happy New Year.